Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well. And welcome to another video. Very nice case here. We have what appears to be some soft wax in the ear canal, but believe you me, it is tough as nails. Um, so it may look kind of glistening on the outside edge, but um, you know, it really is tough stuff. And I've seen this patient many times before, and they always present with the same <laughs> type of wax. I wish I could describe the feeling that I'm getting in my wrist right now when I'm probing this wax. Very similar to, you know, if you had like a, a nail hammered into wood and you were trying to flick that nail with a pen, that is literally the type of feedback that I'm getting in my hand. It really is tough. Um, very unusual. So um, the tool that I'm using here at the moment is called an articulated curette. So it's a plastic tool. It looks like a little gun actually. And um, I'll show you what it looks like at the end and how it works. But essentially the idea is that you you find an opportunity, you go in over the top of the wax or behind the wax, you pull the trigger and then the flap eventually goes down at a 90 degree. And then that allows you a little bit more leverage. And uh, quite, I've not used this in quite some time, but it's very, very good, I have to say. So you can see I'm pulling the trigger at the moment and the flap is kind of doing this. And you know, over the time that I've been using this tool, um, the, the technique I've kind of developed is that whilst you're pulling the trigger, you're, you're squeezing and releasing, squeezing and releasing, and you're kind of doing this with your, with your wrist. So you're sort of doing a, a scooping action as well with your wrist, and that gives me the best results. Um, the, I mean, the pro of using this articulated correct is that it's so quick. I mean, it's just really, really effective. And, you know, I've forgotten how good it was actually, but you know, you may be thinking, well, why use this and why not use a Jobson horn or a hook? And the reason is this is just, you can see how hard it is there. I'm just sort of probing it. Um, so we'll get rid of it with some crocodile forceps. Um, it's just very quick and easy, you know, and, and the fact that it's illuminated is also very nice because again, one of the techniques that you would use with a hook or a Jobson horn is to kind of move past the wax so you can get behind it a little bit and then drag it forwards. Um, so you're essentially you're shoving the tool into a dark space, which is, you know, not the end of the world, but it's it's a bit sketchy sometimes, particularly if the wax is very deep. Um, so the fact that it's illuminated is quite helpful in that respect because you can actually see where you're putting it. Um, and then just the, the the trigger action where it comes down at 90 degrees again, it allows you just to leverage the wax out fairly easily. So again, it's because the the actual flap of the curette is slightly large. It's not for every case, you know. It's it just so happened that this was kind of perfect conditions to use this articulating curette. So quite a nice case. Just mopping up a few bits of dead skin here. And uh, then I can show you exactly what the what the tool looks like. Um, so there we go. Lovely looking eardrum there. Absolutely no problems. Fairly clear ear canal. So successful procedure. Uh, and then we'll have a look at all the debris. So here it is on the tissue paper. Very hard and dense chunks of wax here. And this patient doesn't like applying olive oil. They, re they refuse to apply olive oil. So that's, that's why it probably is so hard and crusty. And here's the articulating curette. So it's made by a company called Bionics actually. And they make a range of tools um, and curettes, which are all fairly useful actually. It's quite, quite underrated this tool. So there's the trigger action. And you can see the little flap coming down. And uh, the light source is actually housed in that little blue plastic bit at the end. So there we go. I thought that was a, quite a nice case. And uh, I know that a lot of you guys have been asking to see some of the different tools that we use in clinic. Again, there are a vast array of tools that um, we use for, for different things. Um, and you know, this happened to be quite a nice case where the articulating curette could be well demonstrated. So I hope you found this video interesting. Thank you very much for liking, subscribing, watching, and I will see you on the next video.